Let us get a better understanding of matter in this video. So, what do you mean by the word matter? Matter is defined as everything that has mass and occupies space. For example, let us take an iron block. Any substance has a few properties and that categorizes it as matter. Can you list those properties? The properties which are characteristic of a matter are as follows. There is space between particles. Particles are in constant motion. Particles are attracted to one another. Intermolecular interactions. Another important property of matter is that it can exist in different states. Solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. They all are interconvertible. Do you know there are two more states of matter apart from the above mentioned four states? It is BEC, also called Bose Einstein condensate, and the sixth state of matter is fermionic condensate. These states exist at very low temperatures, near zero Kelvin. After learning about the different states of matter, let us analyze the properties of solid, liquid, and gas. Can you tell me what is the basic properties of any matter are? Yes, we already recognize that there is an intermolecular force operating between the particles as well as the space that exists between the particles. So, let us see about these two properties first. Intermolecular forces in solids are quite strong. When it comes to liquids, it is considerably weaker than in solids. When it comes to gases, it is quite weak. The interparticle space is the next property. The interparticle space in solids is quite low. It is maximum in gases and intermediate in liquid. Can you tell me a common factor about any solid, liquid, and gas? The most basic property of any form of matter is its mass. Any state of matter will always have a specific mass. The next property is the shape. Solids have a defined shape due to the strong intermolecular interactions. When it comes to liquids or gases, comparably fewer forces of attraction operating between them lead them to take the shape of the beaker or container in which they are contained. The volume is the next property on the list. Solids and liquids, as you may know, have a defined volume. When it comes to gas, there is no such thing as a precise volume. They will take over the entire area surrounding them. Followed by this is the property called compressibility. When it comes to solids, they are particularly inflexible. When it comes to liquids, compressibility is almost non-existent. Gases, on the other hand, are extremely compressible. The next properties to consider after compressibility is fluidity and rigidity. What is fluidity? The capacity to flow is referred to as fluidity. While rigidity is a body in which deformation is zero or so small, it can be neglected. Solids can't flow since they're so rigid. When it comes to liquids or gases, they are considered fluids, that is, they can flow. Diffusion is the last property to analyze for these three states of matter. Now, what do you mean by the term diffusion? Diffusion is the migration of particles from a high concentration region to a low concentration region along the concentration gradient. When it comes to solid, the potential to spread is really limited. It performs best in gases, while liquid also shows the ability to diffuse. Finally, let us discuss the fourth state of matter, that is, the plasma state. Let's use the example of a star to illustrate this. They have a high temperature on their surface. As a result, the gas will be ionist to form ionist gas particles and free electrons. They also have a strong ability to conduct electricity due to the presence of charged particles in them. They exhibit increased fluidity. Can you give a few examples of plasma state? Plasma state can be found in neon signs, tube lights, 
Plasma TVs, Auroras, and other places. So, in this video, we learnt about the different states of matter. We analyzed the properties of solid, liquid, gas, and plasma in detail.